Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at New World Aeternum. New World Aeternum is an action RPG and yes, it's still an MMO set on the supernatural island of Aeternum. Forge your destiny on an adventure filled with danger and opportunity now on PC, PlayStation and Xbox, which is pretty cool. I got to say that is pretty sweet. So we here to have a look at everything that's changed everything that's been updated for character creation. But before we jump in, I will say that if you want to do a deep dive to discover all there is to discover about New World Aeternum, you can find some links below. And I recommend you do if you are interested because there is quite a bit of stuff that's actually changed up and the game is different. There'll also be timestamps down there. Use those, find what you're looking for and leave satisfied. To start, we're going to have a look at the new archetypes, your class selection that you do in the initial character creation. Then we're gonna jump into the customization for male and then female, and then I'll do the outro, right? Right. Now, we begin with the archetypes, the classes. The first thing I'm going to say is that these are basically just a little boost in the direction that you'd like to go. So what you pick here has no real bearing on what your character is going to look like in the end game. This is just a little nudge in the direction that you want to go into. It's a way to get you started off at a run, right? So if you pick the soldier that we're looking at right now, you can just, after a little bit of playing, pick up a bow and arrow and become a ranger. Okay, I've said it. It goes the same for pretty much everything out there. And it's the same as how it was before, where at the end, you'll be able to master everything that's available in the game. You'll be able to use any weapon you like. This is just a starting point. And I think they've done it really well. I just want to say that as like a quick and dirty review of what they've changed here. I think it's fantastic. The Arctic system is a worthy addition to the game, right? I think that... The way they present it here is also way cooler than it was before because character creation before was a little dull. Now, we're going to jump in and I'm going to quickly talk you through what's available. Uh, starting with the soldier over here. This is a tank and damage archetype. It's a fighter by trade, balancing defense and offense with sword and shield and hatchet. As you can see over there, this is the sword and shield. That's the hatchet. And... I will also show you that you get a specific set of trade skills and it is, much like with the weapon choices, just a boost to these trade skills. You'll be able to do all of the other ones if you'd like. This is just a starting point for you. So these guys start with weapon smithing, with mining, and with smelting. It's pretty cool. Once again, I think it's just a fantastic choice. Now, this is something I also want to do. I want to jump in and show you the care that went into creating and crafting all of this. I'm actually, I'm proud of these guys for doing this. I am. Okay, because this is what I do. I record character creation videos and I love it. And I love the attention to detail. They have set up a pretty phenomenal preset on each of these. So the soldier has a male and female preset. They look different, obviously. <laughs> this is the male and it's pretty cool. This is a nice looking character. And that's the female. Also, phenomenal looking character. It looks like a soldier. It looks like a warrior, a fighter, you know? And they've done the same thing for all of the other archetypes. I can't wait to show you. And now, with that said, we're going to jump on to the next one. This is the Destroyer. And you're going to see some new transmogrification options here as well. Some pretty cool new armor sets and stuff. And look at the size of those weapons, man. Woof. This is also a damage and tank. A mighty slayer brutally executing foes with their massive warhammer and great axe. It's disgustingly cool. And look at the look at the character's stance, the pose that they're standing in, the face, the ferocity there. Man, I love it. Oof. Okay, these guys start with armoring, skinning, and leather working. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And look at that. This will be the same every time you jump in. This is a preset creation. And check how cool the male one looks. Look at that, man. Wow. I feel like they've really worked on the visual fidelity of the models. 
I obviously jumped into New World at launch, and it didn't look anywhere near as good as this. There's a lot of new stuff here, and overall, the just model quality, it has improved greatly. Greatly. I love it. Next up, the Ranger. It's one of my favorites. I think the Ranger must be pretty cool for leveling, because I remember the spear being really good for leveling. I love the bow and arrow. So, this is a damage dealer, a keen-eyed hunter, scout, and pathfinder, proficient with bow and spear. They have engineering, login, and woodworking. Pretty cool. Now let me show you these uh, presets. These look really nice. This this is probably one of the nicest female characters I've seen. Really cool. And they're using everything at their disposal. You know, you've got the freckles. You've got the cool face paint there. Really awesome hair. And I mean, don't even get me started on this armor. Like, that is just... Again, the level of detail. It's pretty crisp looking. And it's just cool, right? Here's the male. Slightly less cool. I mean, he's still cool. It's like Pierce Brosnan meets Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, but... Aragorn? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's all I've got for you. Sorry, I don't know. Next up, we have the Musketeer. Yeah, I mean, these guys. Look at them. Also, damage dealers, nimble explorer, and adventurer skilled with rapier and rifle alike. Yeah. Pretty cool. She looks super smug. Actually, you know what? They both look super smug. Again, they've done a phenomenal job with the models here and the poses that they strike and all the rest. I mean, she seems to be squinting. I don't know. Is the light a little bright there somewhere? I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, they've got armoring, harvesting, and weaving as the boosts. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at those uh, appearance options. The presets. There's this fellow over here. And this lady over here. Pretty nice. I mean, they're good. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good. Then, we have the occultist. Oh, man. Look at that armor. Dude. You know, it's like... The guys who made these models, they were like, how can we make the antlers different? And then some guy from the back just shouted, let's put them upside down! And then they're like, oh, genius! That guy gets a raise. Because look, you've never seen that before, have you? <laughs> oh my god. Right, so the occultist, practitioner of primal elemental arts, commanding the forces of frost and flame. Uh, they you they don't say it here, uh, but they use the ice gauntlet and fire staff. It's pretty clear. I mean, that's a gauntlet that's all icy, and this is a staff that's all fiery. They have jewel crafting, mining, and smelting to start with. Let's have a look at the appearances. Wow! Where was she hiding all that hair? <laughs> Not under that little hat, that's for sure. My god, that's insanely cool. Damn, man. Hell yes. I mean, like, just continue. This is the character. Done and done. I love it. Oh, damn, dude. That's actually pretty cool as well. This is me in, like, two years' time. Yeah, guys. Don't do content creation. <laughs> uh, I've made myself sad. All right. But it's a cool... That's Seriously, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right. Next up, we have the Mystic. Ooh. Yo. What is that? Is that the Void? Oh, it's the Void Gauntlet, man. What? Zeratul, is that you? Wow. So, this is a healer and damage dealer. The previous one, in case you didn't see, was just damage. This is a healer and damage. A scholar warrior who seeks to master the forces of life and death. They have arcana, harvesting, and weaving. They look really cool, man. Wow. Not bad. Hell yes, man. You know, the helmets actually, I gotta say, in certain situations, they kind of ruin it, you know? Like, she looks way cooler without the helmet on. Oh... Yeah, handsome fella, this guy. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Things get a little uh, holy when they put the helmet on. I'm not a big fan. But the guy looks... He looks phenomenal. Yeah, okay. And then the final one. This is actually one of the most interesting looking classes. The sword bearer. Check this out, dude. Look at the size of that sword! <laughs> it is so sick. Oh my god. 
Step aside, cloud. We don't need the Buster Sword anymore. This is a damage dealer and tank. A gutsy, heavily armed berserker wielding a colossal greatsword and blunderbuss. This is a pretty cool combination. They start with cooking, fishing, and leather working. Yeah, dude. Hell yes. I mean, this is just, this is phenomenal. It's like, hey, you're not going to beat this. It's just so cool. And the armor is also just like super duper cool. Check that out, dude. It's like a young George Michael here. All right. Okay, dude. Every one of these presets. So good. So good. And this armor is also just like, it's wow. It's super. Okay, so we're going to go back. And that is actually that for the archetypes. Nice addition. I mean, I'd love to hear from you guys what you think, obviously. Uh, but to me, that's just like a thumbs up, man. I love the idea of giving you like a boost in the direction you want to go in. Hitting the ground running, starting with something cool that you want to use. It's a pain having to try and find the weapons and the armor and the this and the that that you want to get. You know, and the trade skills and all that stuff. So I think it's pretty cool. Now we're going to jump into the customization on mail. And we're going to just go straight on the soldier over here. Because this is a decent looking fellow to start on. And uh, here we go. First up, you can toggle the headgear. You can rotate the character. As you can see over there, you cannot zoom. Uh, that's not something that they allow. Body type choice, as I've shown you before. The options are the same. Uh, you know, I, I say that sort of loosely. <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to do both. Okay, so watch the male if you want to see a male character. Watch the female if you want to see female. Uh, in short, you can put the beards on the ladies. That's all you need to know. But we are here for the male right now. So let's jump in and look at the faces. I am going to take the facial hair off for the purposes of this. And I will also just take the scar off so that you have sort of a clean look at what's going on. And I'm going to say to you while I click through these and you look at all these different options, there are a few things that you need to consider as we go through every one of these faces. One, this is the most important choice you're going to make here. I mean, the hair is also pretty important because it's a big deal. But, like, this is the very structure of your character, the, the template that you're going to be working with. It is the base that you are picking. This is an important choice. Pay attention, look at it from all the angles, and so on and so forth, right? Second, a lot of these have been made with certain skin tones in mind. And you will be able to sort of fiddle around with them and see. And I want to say, attached to that, I am thoroughly impressed by the amount of options that they have here. And I'm thoroughly impressed by the fact that they pretty much cover all the bases that they are to cover with this. In terms of face types and structures, the look and feel of, of, of any old face out there. And then the ethnicities and stuff like that. And then finally things like the age. You know, they've they've done a great job with it. And it's funny because as I go through this and, and the more I see of these characters, I feel like they've got a, a phenomenal engine here with like great performance and decent to pretty decent visuals. I mean, I would say New World's actually one of the better looking MMOs out there right now because it's brand new. And I mean, the engine itself is just wow. But they've also managed to... And this is my, to me, the most impressive thing is that they've also managed to somehow make it look simple yet satisfying, where they don't overcomplicate things with insane texture work on the hair or, or, or too much clarity on things like the skin or anything like that. They've gone for a style that I feel will age more gracefully with the characters. I can't say the same for the world because I haven't seen enough of it. But I think that what they've done with the characters here is pretty great. Like, I really think that they've done a good job with them, where they didn't go overboard with the detail, so as to make it too much. I dig it. So the skin tones, as you may have just seen. Decent selection here as well. Uh, it's fine. Just keep in mind we are in the belly of a boat and a ship. Okay, I'm sorry. Someone's going to freak out about that, so I'll correct myself. And it's like torchlight that we have here. So like your character, you pick this one, you run out into the sun, uh, you're going to be looking pasty white, okay? <laughs> I just want to say that. Keep that in mind. You pick this one, it might look a little darker and a little cooler when you're out there. Just keep that in mind with the skin tones. But it's a decent selection nonetheless. The hairstyles, this is some of my favorite stuff. 
this is like just straight up some of my favorite stuff. They have neatened and tidied this up since the first time that I looked at it. So basically since New World initially released. I think that they still have all the default styles, but they've added a bunch of new ones here. And again, they have actually made some of these look better. They've done a good job on this. And I mean, back when I made a character, I chose, I think I chose this style on my female character because there just weren't that many cool hairstyles, you know? And now when I look at this, I think to myself, my goodness, if I were to jump in here right now to make a character for keepsies, I would have a field day because there's just so much cool stuff. They've added so many nice hairstyles and you may have guessed it. I mentioned it at the start, but the options are the same on male and female. Uh, so there's no like limitation. I think that's thumbs up all the way. I, I, I think it's utterly ridiculous when an MMO limits you. When someone somewhere says that a certain hairstyle, as an example, the mohawk, I don't know why it's always the mohawk, is only allowed on male characters. Like, what the hell, man? Uh, what are you? The hair police? Come in here trying to enforce the goddamn law? No, dude. No. Anyone should be able to have a mohawk, okay? Get out of here with that nonsense. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They did the right thing. And there are so many cool hairstyles. All right? And then on top of that, there's also some pretty cool colors. Look at that mohawk. That's a mega hawk, dude. And, like, I, I, get, I get the feeling there are some, like, 80s enjoyers <laughs> on the New World team. Uh, because they've got a lot of big hair here, man. they got a lot of big hair. Uh, but as we go down, and as we go through these sort of later styles in the list you will notice that some of them look even better and i get the feeling that a lot of these were introduced later in new world's life cycle and they obviously just have that new hair shine to them it's pretty cool they've basically given you a a, a, a way 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 bigger selection of hairstyles here and i mean geez if you jump in here and you're looking for something you're gonna find it full-on fabio over here man Pretty great. Oh, okay. Oh, man. You thought you were full on Fabio? You were wrong. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of really nice hair here. It's, it's basically all I need to say. And there are a few styles that I, I never thought I would even see anywhere near this game. I mean, like, you, like this one, for instance, is obviously brand and You can do some really cool stuff with this, with the colors and stuff. Uh, most of these bottom ones are new. I've never seen this one before, and it's phenomenal. It's pretty great. I've obviously not seen this one yet. There is some funny stuff happening underneath the hairline over there, but it still looks pretty good. This is also new. This is uh, Guns N' Roses. That one, pretty fantastic. I mean, like, why not, I'd say. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. There you go. And that's it. I think it's just great. I'm going to pick something that doesn't cover the face, uh, just for the purposes of the customization. Uh, let's take something normal, plain, uh, decent that we can look at the color on. I don't know, man. Like, what do we like? What do you guys like? Come on, weigh in. This is, this is a handsome cut. We take this one. Now, the colors. I will just say, you can see the preview over here. This is, again, a situation where the lighting inside this boat is a little weird. The ship, sorry. And you must just keep in mind it might change a, a tiny bit as you jump out into the game proper. Okay, not a lot, but a tiny bit. They have a good selection of colors here. I am pretty impressed by it. And I like the fact that they did not hold back with the slightly different colors. Because once again, it's, it's one of those situations where you look at this and you think to yourself, like, hey man, uh, hair dye is a thing and it's been a thing for a long time. And like, why not? Right? Well, usually the answer is because they want to put it on the in-game store. <laughs> so, uh, hey, we happy that's not the case here. Pretty cool. There's a lot of nice options for hair colors here. And I would say that, once again, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. I'm a black hair enjoyer, but I also really like the red that they have here. And the green is, is quite nice. Although this one's quite cool too. But there you go. That's the lot of it. We're going to switch to the black hair now. Then we're going to have a look at the facial hair. Yes, indeed. The beards in this game are, I will not say second to none, but they are pretty good. Like, the guys who made the character models, like, these guys definitely had beards of their own. 
uh, to model these off of because like i mean look at the texture work on the beard um i i feel like one of the small details that often gets overlooked is the way the beard is stuck to the face on the cheek so on the top end here this is very naturally done it looks like a real beard would look you know and i mean the contrast here where you have like the little clipping and stuff on the hair and stuff doesn't doesn't look amazing uh, the way the hair fades here doesn't look perfect but the beard this is great it all just looks good and i mean the same can be said for most of the beards here the longer styles just look nice the way that they've done the texture work is is cool and and this sort of ties into what i said earlier by the way is they've managed to sort of keep it on the side of simplicity while still adding enough detail to make it look pretty phenomenal right i've i've almost accidentally created dr disrespect here i better start clicking faster <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Well, there we go. That's definitely not it. That's a nice beard, man. It's a really nice beard. Wow. Huh. And the mustaches are obviously just... They're great. Damn. Look at those beards, dude. Look at those beards. pretty cool there's just a lot of options i am also just gonna say again like i said with the hair i am almost certain there's a bunch of new stuff here that wasn't here before and i say that just based on the way it looks the texture work on on some of these is even better than the than the initial ones that we looked at as an example these ones like it's just really well done it's well put together like if you come in here and you look at this there's no way you're going to complain about the way this game looks and feels, right? And I mean, it translates nicely, I know, because I've played this and I've, I've looked at what characters look like after you create them. Oftentimes, the character actually looks better when you jump into the game. I love that they gave some extra beards and stuff with different textures on them. So like a finer, curlier texture. And then they've got the massive ones. Jeez, dude, that's super. That's really nice. And they were smart with this as well, where they took the big beard with the mustache, they split it, they took the mustache off. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> have you ever? I Actually, this might be a first for me. I have never seen a beard molded or sculpted into tentacles or tendrils or whatever you want to call I've never seen that before. This might be a first. And this is phenomenal as well. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, this might... Oh my god, this might win the Best Beard Award. If there was such a thing, New World would win it. Look at these things. Just for creativity's sake, man. Wow. All right. Okay. I, I do, however, think that this initial one was actually one of the nicest. All right. So, that's it. The colors on the beard, same as the hair. Uh, I, I can go through it quickly, but just know that you can do them separately. Not all that much to see here. It's just the same. Uh, the color does translate nicely. It shows very nicely, and that's cool. Next up, we have the eye color. I, I said this initially about New World, and I'll say it again. Uh, the one thing about this game is that the eyes on most of the models are relatively small, and the color that you choose is relatively unimpactful. Uh, it's just sort of overlooked easily because they actually made the eyes look too realistic, where you would have to get too close to see the actual color unless you pick in a, a white or, or gray or something like that or a plain black like this one basically uh, otherwise it's like you know the color is sort of just lost in the reflection and stuff like that but the colors are there and you can pick whatever you feel like uh, you know the red eyes do look good uh, sometimes in some situations as do the blue as do the white you can pick and choose right features pretty nice i like the freckles i think they've done well on them you can have more you can have less There is some vitiligo here, which is kind of nice. And I will show you just what this looks like when you put the... There you go. It's pretty It's pretty well done, I would say. I'm not a professional, but I would say it looks pretty okay. And then we have scars. Not a huge amount. This has not increased. Uh, this is the same as it was before. Uh, there's, there's sort of just a, a handful here, basically. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a professional. I don't know if you could carry this many scars in one hand, but uh, probably probably they look okay 
I, I think the scars in this game look good. Uh, there's obviously just not that many of them. This is around the side here. Which is a pity. But, um, yeah. There you go. And then finally, tattoos. There's definitely new tattoos. <laughs> I, I can say that with much surety. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on black so I can show you what they look like. But there's definitely new tattoos here. Uh, a good selection. There's a bunch of cool stuff that you can do. Uh, and, and personally, I've actually seen a few that I like. Yeah. I, I, I don't usually say stuff like that. I'm not usually a big tattoo kind of guy. I, I generally tend to go for tattoos that are more on the subtle side, like this, for instance. But I gotta say, yeah, uh, I, I, I like what they've got here. I think these ones are still uh, the originals. As we get lower down, you will see some new ones that have been added. And we did see some of these on some of the presets. One complaint, I guess, <laughs> it's not really a complaint, but one thing I will say about the markings and or tattoos is that the colors don't usually translate all that well. It's like it depends on the skin tone that you've got, obviously, but for the most part, when you mess around with that, when you when you start fiddling around with the colors and stuff, eh, more often than not, it just doesn't look all that great. But yeah, overall, there's a good selection. We're not even done yet. Uh, and I'm already saying there's a good selection here. These are definitely new. I I'm not sure if these were maybe, and, and someone who knows New World could potentially weigh in and tell me. I'm not sure if these were maybe added to the main game at some point during events or something like that. But I, I will tell you that I think that some of these are, are pretty damn cool looking. And there's a lot of fun stuff that you could potentially do with these. I believe that there's a huge amount of creativity that can be involved in, in setting up... Uh, this one seems to be on the neck, which to me is really weird, because I can't even look at that. <laughs> uh, there's a cool paw print as well. But yeah, so to me, it's like, I, I think that if you jump in here now, uh, and you fiddle around a little bit with the character creation, there's so much more cool stuff that you can do. Uh, so many more, like, decent options, and so many more just opportunities to make yourself stand out. Let's take, let's take these ones, and I'll show you the colors quickly. So, pretty subtle. Let's take the poor rather. It's kind of difficult to see it on that small one. Pretty subtle. Uh, some of the brighter colors do look kind of nice. Um, but overall, I would say that they maybe played it a little safe with this. And they could have pulled that opacity slider a little higher, if you know what I'm saying. And if any of you guys are watching from the New World team, just pull that opacity slider a little higher, guys. Transparency, it's not what we want here. We want that white to be white. Not like a pale gray, you know? Thanks, guys. Thank you. So yeah, I like these. I like these. And that does bring us to the end of the customization for mail. We are not done. However, I'm going to randomize now. The button is spacebar. We are going to press it. Enjoy. There's a whole lot of funky stuff that happens once I start pressing this button. Just believe me when I say that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Immediately. Wait, take the helmet off. I don't want to hide that beauty. <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, they do not hold back. This is what I want from my randomize, okay? Don't be cowards. You other MMOs out there, you are cowards. Let it go all out. Let it just throw everything at the character and see what sticks. See, you can find some really interesting and unique characters by doing this. And what I like about this as well is that you get to see different combinations of faces and skin tones. Like, look at that. That's phenomenal. That's a great design. You get to see so much different stuff in action here, and uh, yeah, I like it. I really like it. It's kind of great. So that's it for mail. I think that you have so much at your disposal, you have no excuses to make a great character. An awesome character. Get out there and do it, dudes. Get out there and do it. That's it. We're going to jump back to the female now. <laughs> what a brilliant place to end it. <laughs> I'm going to jump back. And I'm going to jump back in. Just because. So that it can uh, reset me. And we're going to start with this lady. Here we go. So, body type. You can freely switch it. The options are the same on both. I feel like I need to mention that. And yes, the ladies can have beards. That's what we're here to look at. So for the purposes of the customization, I'm going to take the features off. I'm going to take the tattoos off. I'm going to take the scars off. We're going to start with a straightforward look. And I'm also going to do something that's 
perhaps a little uh, questionable. I'm just going to take the longer hair off. Thing is, I think that's unfair because I do believe that it's it's a good idea to look at the character, you know, with... There we go. Let's do this one. With, with some slightly more feminine looking hair, I suppose you could say. I don't know. So you can get a good feel for the faces. Here we go, guys. Let's do it. I love the way they've done faces in this. I love the sheer number of options and how different they are from one another. I mentioned on the male customization side, there's a lot to think about here where you basically need to actually give these ca characters a good spin, which I didn't just do. I'll do it for you now. I apologize. You need to look at everything, you know, all the different dimensions, all the different angles. And I say that because a lot of the time you will notice that certain faces with certain features will look better with different skin tones. Uh, so you can make an educated decision if you have a good look at it. And I do think that they've covered basically everything where ethnicity is concerned and where face types are concerned, where they have bigger faces, uh, you know, some more protruding parts, some rounder parts, some sharper edges. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. There's like, there's really a lot of cool stuff. And the overall style that they have for the models in this is phenomenal in my opinion i am repeating myself now but i did say it during the male side of things i believe that they have a great style that ends up looking detailed but also simple and satisfying at the same time they do give you some options for older characters you know obviously some of them look a little younger it's great it's awesome and i think that the characters specifically in this will be I'd make, if, if not entirely, they'll be on the verge of evergreen in terms of their visual aesthetic and appeal. I think it's, it's yeah, it's great. The, the faces, they look good. And the characters themselves, just like the overall look and feel of the characters, great. It's awesome. Right, skin tones. There is a decent selection here. Uh, it is obviously an important choice to make. I will also just add that we have warm lighting here in the hull of this ship. Keep that in mind. Character might look a little different when you hit outside and have the sun shine down on you. It's like a torch or a fire or something that's lighting you here. Just keep that in mind. So this is slightly paler than it looks, you know. So when you actually jump into the game, this is the palest one. Keep that in mind. All right. Uh, and again, the combinations with the faces and the skin tones worth noting. I'd say the most important choice you can make is the face, but, uh, you know, the others are all right up there. Speaking of right up there. Hair. Hair. I'm going to leave it on this red color. I think it's a beautiful color to preview all the hairstyles with. There is pretty much everything you can possibly want here, and they have thrown a whole lot of new stuff into the mix. And that's just great. You know... I, I, I don't know how much they've changed things, and I'm going to talk about this while I go through the styles. I apologize if it's maybe a little off topic. I don't think it is, but uh, I apologize anyway. But it's to me, it's, it's kind of astounding how I jump in here now, and my opinion is so much different than it was back when I tried New World for the first time on its initial release. And I think it's because of how much more interesting things are. They have so many more hairstyles that are just wild and wacky and crazy and out there and exciting, basically, right? They are exciting hairstyles. You'll see when I get down lower, okay? And and that goes for the other stuff as well. You know, the, the facial features, the tattoos, the facial hair. Oh, man, don't start, get me started on the facial hair. The beards in this game are just phenomenal. And, like, that new stuff that they added and then the visual fidelity increases where I, I firmly believe they've made the models just look so much better right? It's neater and tidier all around. But all of that comes together to make this a pretty exciting character creation experience. There's so much you can do, and you'll see when I randomize at the end of this, and perhaps if you watched the archetype section and you saw me jumping into each of the archetypes presets, they are just so, like, there are, there are some really good options. There are some really fun options for characters, and you can do some awesome stuff to make yourself stand out from the rest of the crowd. Uh, we aren't even in the new hairstyles yet. We get in there now. Uh, like, I, I, I believe this, I, I believe this might be new, I'm not entirely sure, um, but, like, most of these lower down ones are new, and honestly, like, a lot of what they've done here is just really, really cool, where, as I mentioned before, they seem to have, like, sort of stuck at a point where 
They have good detail on the character models, but they don't have so much that it's too much and too busy, too cluttered, you know? I, I dig it. I dig it. And no, 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 they didn't pay me to say any of this. My god. If they had their way, I wouldn't even be playing this game right now. <laughs> I just... I, I, I do not get invited to stuff like this, but here I am. It's pretty great, uh, And the shading is also really nicely done. Really nicely done. You see some pretty exciting hairstyles here. Starting right about now. Very cool. I'm not sure what the inspiration was for a lot of these, but I love it. This one was definitely Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses, but, um, you know, the other ones, like this, for instance, uh, that's Keith, what's his name, from Prodigy, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe. That's the only hairpin that they have in the whole thing as well. But yeah, uh, very nice hairstyles, very cool. Uh, I, I personally love what they did with this character initially, but I do believe that, like, pretty much any of these styles look quite nice. We're going to take this one to look at the colors. I'm going to say now, as I select this whiter gray here, the lighter gray, it's a bit lighter when you're actually in the game, right? It's closer to the color that you can see over here. It's worth noting. Uh, it's still not like super duper white, you know? It's not like snow white or anything, but it's it's quite a lot lighter. And the same can be said for a lot of the other colors. Not all lighter, but the color on some of these other colors is a lot better. You know, I also want to just say, I don't know if there's anyone out there that would ever pick this color, this color, this color, or this color, because they're all basically vomit adjacent. I'm not sure what they were thinking with those four. Like, w whichever character designer put these four in, you know, let's separate them from the team. Let's let them work on their own project for a little while, and let's see how this thrives without them, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm just not a big fan of those colors, I'm sorry. But this is a beautiful color. There's another one of those colors. It's like, can't you just be normal brown, please? <laughs> like this. Pretty nice, though, right? Like, I mean, this is a beautiful hairstyle. And, like, it's a beautiful character. Obviously, by extension. These are also really nice. I, I'm a personally a black hair enjoyer. Uh, the red is just... Wow, dude, that's so bright. That's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Hell yes. I don't want to take the red because it's going to distract you guys from what we're doing. <laughs> you get, you have to look at the other stuff. Now, speaking of the other stuff. Facial hair. Yes. You can indeed throw the beards on the ladies. And the beards look good, man. The beards look good. And I mean, like, uh, you want to be brave, then you take a beard on a lady. Uh, it is just a good choice to make. I don't think it matters at the end of the day. I'm going to be honest with you, brutally honest. I'm the one here sitting here making these videos every day, doing character creation stuff all the time. It really doesn't matter if you play male or female in a video game, man. You pick whatever you feel like at the time. You pick what is the most visually appealing to you. You pick what resonates with you, and you go, go, go. And if that is a beard, then that's thumbs up from me, man. Because these beards in this game look awesome. Yeah, dude. Beard game is on point. Mustache game is on point. Mutton chop game. Hell yes, man. It's all good. Mmm. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Got some volume there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. I skipped one. This is... Wow. Yeah, this is wow. Like, these are definitely new as well. Um, they look really nice. They look really nice. And yeah, I mean, okay, you don't need to have a beard on the ladies, but the fact that you can have it is cool. And the fact that they've done so well with the beards, and the fact that they've added so many new ones, and, oh, man. They've given us everything. I don't know when all of this was added, uh, but, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oof. Pretty nice. And my favorite one. <laughs> you can use it as like a second tattoo. Like, it'll hold up. It'll hold up under scrutiny, right? You can have this as like a second tattoo, man. I've never seen that. It's like this. That's basically solidified this as my favorite beard in any game ever. 
most of these actually there's another really cool these this is like so good man look how voluptuous it is and like imagine this with that uh, prodigy hairstyle you know and this one check that out look at the different patterns here it's so cool man so yeah uh nice beards you can do the colors much like you can the hair color translates decently there's a decent selection of colors And there you go. We shall remove the beard, however, so that we can see all the other stuff. Eye color is better on females than on males. I said it. Males have little pig eyes. Uh, these guys, yeah, we can actually see them. There are some decent eye color. I'm going to go through them again because I'm going relatively quickly. But on the male characters, the eyes are smaller on most of the faces. And I, I feel like the real estate is just too limited. The reflections sort of bounce the color back at you and you don't even really get a good look at it in a bad way, you know. Uh, but on female, it's more impactful. And I like that. I kind of like that a lot. Decent selection of eye colors, yeah. Definitely not grounded in reality. Uh, they gave you some pretty cool options here. These, these super red ones are quite nice. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll find what you're looking for, I'm sure of it. There you go. Features. We got the freckles. We got the vitiligo here. I will just switch over to a darker skin tone so you can see that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty nicely done. And then scars. These haven't changed. It's the same scars as before. There's that uh, sort of burnt skin on the cheek. Okay, man. Okay. I didn't want to have to change the hair, <laughs> but I guess I have to change the hair. Uh, let's go with... Now, I, now I'm going to sit here deciding which hair to take. That's a nice one. Sure, let's go with this one. All right. Scars. See? Big burn mark on the cheek. Big claw marks on the cheek. This one's on the side here. It's over the eye. The scars look good in this. I, I mean, I would say I could argue that maybe you'd want them to be a little more visible, you know, a little more visible, but overall it still looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, I like them. Uh, speaking of looking good, here we are. I'm going to choose black for this and we're going to go through it. And you will see exactly what's available. There's a lot of cool options here, a lot of new options here. And honestly, I think I need to take the hair and change it again. <laughs> Let's just take the damn hair off, okay? Let's just, just take the hair off. There we go. That'll do. Okay, perfect. Most of these first ones that you're going to look at now are going to be the the same ones that we saw in the base game. Uh, but I do believe that there are a bunch of new ones lower down. I, I mentioned, and I'll say again, I, I, I think that these were added to the game post-launch, maybe through events, uh, maybe through other means, but they were added post-launch, post and then they were just all sort of gathered up here in the character creation system so that everyone can use them and benefit from them, which I like a lot. Uh, I, I like it a lot. It's kind of cool. Because there's a lot of nice, exciting options here now that I can definitely get behind. Like, these are all still... Well, I'm, I'm not even sure about these, to be honest. I'm not sure about these Egyptian and Beatley ones and stuff like that. That might actually be new as well. Hmm. Pretty cool. Like, so this, this for instance, I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing it, but I might just not be remembering things, because it was a long time ago. But, like, there's a good amount of tattoos here. And, honestly, you can you can be pretty creative with these. Like, you're going to find one that you enjoy here. I don't, I don't... I can't see the one on the neck right now. You can't remove the outfit, so... There you go. I really like the stars. That's it. Beautiful. Now the colors. I'll pick this one and show you the colors. They are not perfect, uh, but they're good enough, I'd suppose. I, I do believe that they could pull the opacity up a little bit on it. Like the, the, the transparency might be a little too high, you know? 
Uh, it would be cool if they were just a little more solid and a little more like the blocks down here, you know? But overall, it looks okay. I mean, specifically, the black looks quite nice. Uh, I think the red looks okay, and then the blues look nice too. But yeah, overall, not bad. And that does bring us to the end, but it not, it's not actually the end. We have one more really cool stop. It's randomized. Now you can see the full power of this system, all right? Let us begin. <laughs> there, sh there should be some humorous stuff here. I, I will also say one thing that I appreciate about the female randomize, can I tell you, is that they do not put a beard on. It's a smart randomize system. They don't put the beard on every time. You get the beard maybe one in every 10 randomizers or something like that. And overall, man, yeah, they just let loose with it. They do not hold back whatsoever. And I think it's it's awesome. It just goes to show once again how much phenomenal looking uh, detail there is. How much cool stuff you can do. How many different choices you have when you jump in here. Choices to make your character look unique. Fun, interesting, scary even. It's pretty great. Pretty great. Yeah, I mean, they've got everything covered. Younger, older. <laughs> Lighter, darker. God damn, scarier, sweeter. And I mean, you know, if you just look for a minute at the, the contours, if you look for a minute at the detail on the, the skin's texture work, and, and, and basically everything around the face itself, it all actually looks pretty great. I'm ignoring the purple hair for now, but it all looks really good, man. They've done, oof, they've done a great job. Yeah. Like, it's not the best looking character model ever, but they've got this, this nice balance, you know? This nice, comfortable balance. But there you go. Uh, that's a, a decent look at what's available for the female customization and randomization. Your character identity is basically just your name, and it's sometimes a little tough to find a name that you want. I will just say, however, that you can use spaces, which is kind of cool. So you can use a, a name and a surname, right? And then your world is just your world selection. You get to pick which server you want to play on, and that's that. And that does bring us to the end of this video. Here in the outro, I'm just going to say that I'm proud of these guys. I think that they did a phenomenal job with making character creation more interesting, more exciting, and more engaging. With the archetypes, with the cool choices, and the amazing explanations and showcases of all the different weapons and armor and stuff like that. It is just so much better than it was before. It felt soulless before and now i feel like they've finally found something that really works for them and gives players a good first impression you know and that's just the archetypes i'm talking about when i get to the appearance stuff i think they've done a phenomenal job with all the new stuff that they've added with the model quality improvements with the overall model quality like the armor and stuff like that that we looked at all of it just looks really really good and i mean the amount of new options allow you to make so much more cool stuff when you're creating a character in this game. So I've actually got nothing but good to say about this. It's one of the better glow-ups that I've seen in an MMO or in a game that has character creation such as this. Because before, I had nothing really against what they had, but it wasn't all that inspired. It felt empty. It felt sort of devoid of of fun. And, and you know, this one, they've just turned it around with Aeternum. It's, it's night and day. So I'm a big fan, and I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. Uh, I'm not talking about the game itself. I don't know, okay? I'm talking about the character creation, customization, options, the archetypes, and all the rest. I think it's amazing. So, I'm done here. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it, as always. You can find my links below. My coffee page, my Twitch channel, and all the rest. Give this video a like and share it, subscribe to the channel, and hey, dudes, if you're jumping into New World Aeternum, I hope you guys have fun. Happy that!